Hey everyone, it's Chad with round two. Um, we're back for December's video, so Christmas is almost here. Uh, lots of cool stuff. Um, we got new stuff for 164 scale from Johnny Lightning. We've got uh, two 118 cars to show you, and there's a lot of new uh, model kits this month as well. So we'll jump in, we'll start with the model kits, and uh, let's go. All right, so first off for model kits, we're gonna start with sci-fi. So there's a couple of really cool things for our Space 1999 stuff. Um, First, this is a really big one, and for those of you who subscribe to the YouTube, you may have seen a video we did on this just recently. Um, this is the fully decorated and painted, put together, detailed 44 inch or uh, 22 inch uh, Eagle Transporter kit based on the 44 inch filming miniature. So, what's cool about this, it is not like a model kit that you put together, this is all pre done, all pre put together more of a display piece for the Space 1999 fans. So it's got a lot of cool stuff. The spring action landing gear, there's pilot figures in it, and you can see even some of the features on the back. You can take the uh, nose cone apart, show the figures. There's a lot of really, really cool stuff about this. And it's uh, limited to only 500 pieces, which is another, uh, just a cool different thing to do with that 22-inch that Eagle. and. To add to that, this um, this is not a pre-painted kit. This is a regular model kit. This is the Nuclear Waste Disposal Area 2 diorama set. So what this is, uh, for all of you people who have built the 22-inch Eagle Transporter, this includes things for these battery-operated battery lights to set up a diorama. You've got figures in here. There's two moon buggies. These are all in 148th scale as well. Um, two nuclear waste control cones, and then as a bonus, there's also a 124th scale uh, moon buggy with figures in it. So a lot of cool stuff with this. The lights, uh, they come with the batteries and everything included in them. So you don't have to do anything there. And that should make for some really cool diorama setups. So we're, um, we're pretty happy about that. Uh, next up, we'll jump into some of the car stuff. So this is a super cool kit. This is one of my favorites coming out here. The 57 Chevy Pepper Shaker. So what's cool about this, it has that great looking retro style box art. It's a three in one, so you can build it stock, custom, or drag. Uh, pad printed vinyl tires. It's got expanded decal artwork with it. But you can see some of that. And uh, here's some of the options. Custom gauge panel, the 409 pepper shaker engine, or the stock 283. Two different wheel options, tire options, chrome driveline parts. Just a lot of really cool stuff with it too. Also, talking about the Chevys, here is a 1950 Chevrolet 3100 pickup. So what's cool about this, this is the uh, Union 76 service truck. So there's a couple ways you can build this. You can build it as a stock truck, you can build it as a service truck. It comes with these Union 76 deluxe decal set. So these are all new decals that we had put together for this kit. Um, there's the inline six cylinder engine. It's got white wall tires on it. Uh, dog dish caps, bunch of different options for the wheels and parts. A uh, lot of different stuff for that. And it is a truck kit. We have been getting a lot of um, lot of questions about when you know when we're going to have new truck kits coming up and what's coming out. So another one, GMC Sonoma, the High Rider 4x4 truck. So what's cool about this? There are a lot of options with this truck too. You see, um, this is more of a, a stock look on the front, but there is options for it's got turning front wheels it's got detailed chassis there's fender flares uh brush guard a couple different uh wheel options with it as well and a um some other things light bar the net for the um tailgate there bug shield tons of cool stuff uh next up this is the 1962 buick electra 225 so what's cool about this also got a couple different options. You can build it stock or you can build it as a stylized custom kit. So we've included some of these all new customizing decals here. Flames, stripe packages, stuff like that. It's got a Wildcat V8 engine, some other uh, show accessories like a jack and a drum, uh, side pipes, a bunch of cool stuff. All right, and lastly for, uh, for model kits, we got this Tom Mongoose McEwen Wedge Dragster. So what's cool about this, um, it has all new box art for it. It's got really colorful decals that come with it. Um, it's the wedge body shape. And then <clears throat> there's a lot of cool options with that. 
optional header covers, optional underbody headers, multi-piece wedge body, pre-lettered drag slicks, just a lot of really awesome features with that. And most of our um, mongoose and snake kits have been selling pretty well. They seem like they've been really popular, so we keep bringing those out for you guys. Uh, next, we'll show you some stuff for uh, 164th diecast. All right, so first off for 64th, uh, we got stuff for Johnny Lightning. So we're going to start with the Johnny Lightning Street Freaks series. So this is the newest uh, addition to the Street Freaks. There's a, a six-car set, two colors like we normally do. So first off, what we've got is the 1972 Chevy Vega Zinger. So what's cool about this, there's the two color variations. There's the uh, Black Magic car here, and we did another variation in white. And next, we have a uh, second zinger in this series, a 1965 Ford Mustang. So there is in this uh, great looking green color, it's custom green with those red line tires on it. And this it's kind of a navy blue with these white tire, white line tires on it. Third in the release. This is next in our blacked out series where we do mostly black on black type cars. So this is the uh, 1961 Pontiac Catalina. There's a, there it is black with that great looking bright red interior. It's for the version A and black on black for the version B. This version B is more of a matte color whereas uh, version A was more of a gloss. I don't know how well it shows up on the camera all the time. Um, also next up, this is for our project in progress series. So there's two versions of this. This is the 1996 Dodge Ram 1500. So going with this, we kind of wanted to do a truck that looks like the normal truck in, in, in any neighborhood. We got the primer gray version and we have this pieced together green truck with the red bed and primer, little bit of rust. And then fifth in the series, <clears throat> this is the spoiler car, 1971 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. So we did it in this yellow color with the uh, red accents and red interior. And this is my favorite, this light blue with that white interior. And lastly, next in our Demolition Derby series, this is probably my favorite one out of this, uh, out of this set. You might remember our Demolition uh, Series bus that we just put out. This is the 1981 Chevy Citation. So we got lots of cool Demo Derby decals on this. It's got the... Uh, sighted again all these spray paint looking stuff on it the more you look at this there's a, a lot of cool stuff that the designers put into it that really turned out great um next up for johnny lightning these are our hobby exclusive cars so we've got a three of those coming in versions a and a and b so first is this volkswagen volkswagen beetle so these are color variations of what you've uh, seen in some of our classic gold series this is the 1950 uh, split window. So it's blue with this uh, tan interior and in this gray color with that tan interior. And next, this is the uh, reintroduction of the Toyota Land Cruiser. This, in, uh, this is the uh, black on black version here. That version A and white with the uh, white tires, big off-road tires on it, or white wheels, I'm sorry, white leather tires. And lastly, uh, here's another color variation for that 1961 Pontiac Catalina. So I just showed you guys that with the blacked out series. Here it is in a great burgundy with burgundy wheels. And light blue with matching, uh, matching light blue wheels as well. And uh, like a dark aqua interior. So that looks great. Uh, next, we'll show you guys what's coming up for Auto World 118. All right, so Auto World 118, we got two great uh new cars for you guys to show you this is the 1967 buick gs 400 so what's cool about this uh we did it in this great looking light blue color but it also has the additional 64th scale auto world matching car that goes with it so you can see it here in the light blue it's got the red line tires red pin striping on it uh hood scoops and it's a uh, limited edition, one of 1,002, opening doors and hood. The engine's fully detailed. Front wheels are steer steerable, um, as well as detailed chassis as well. And this is the uh, second in the 
up for this month, the 1938 Buick Wide Job. So this one's cool. It's a little different than uh, some of the 118s that we've been putting out recently. So it's got that great black paint job. This is that uh, very famous Buick concept car. So um, some of the cool stuff about this, also limited edition, one of 1,002 opening doors and hood, steerable front wheels, detailed engine, and very precise. And it's something that uh, we haven't put out in a while. So that's everything we've got for this month. Uh, as always, thank you guys for watching these videos. Go onto our Facebook pages and have a Merry Christmas. Thank you.